<laughs> Let's take the scenic route. Might as well uh, enjoy the ride or something. A hey, was going down YouTube. The real T Dog back at it again. Pretty lovely day right now. I'm actually on my way to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. I was Googling uh, GoPro Hero Session 5s, if there's any sales or anything. And it looks like there's a sale on them right now at Dick's Sporting Goods at the time of this video. So I'm hoping that website isn't lying to me, that they actually do have a good uh, sale going on because from the looks of it, it's a massive, <laughs> massive markdown. Here's to me hoping that uh, they didn't lie. On to the uh, subject uh, which this video is titled. Actually, before I get to the subject, just a little update. I have finally officially put down an order for an exhaust and air filter and also a new microphone adapter and microphone for my GoPro Hero 4 Silver because it was brought to my attention by a subscriber of mine that this whole time this whole time the audio in my videos have only been coming out from the right speakers I don't know why for the life of me why it took me this long to uh, realize this so from or the multi strata video till now this video that you're watching, I've been having to uh, duplicate the audio coming out from the right channel and copying them over to the left channel. And the thing is, I noticed that uh, when doing that on the audio editor, that there is sound coming out of the left, the left speaker. It's just that I don't know why it's, uh, you know, it, it's like you could barely hear it. I'm thinking that the left side probably is busted now, or the microphone adapter is gone bad. <sighs> Here we go, some. Ooh. Yeah, I mean that wasn't fast, but this car was ahead of me, so whatever. Either one of those or both of them has gone bad, so I mean they were cheap to begin with, so it's it's no big deal. I just went ahead and ordered a whole new microphone uh, adapter and microphone setup off Amazon. Hopefully, it comes in in the next few days, so I can start recording, and hopefully it, it, it turns out good. It frustrated me when I found out that like. I've done like what over 20 videos now where they're they're all like that like I had no idea so off to the subject of the hand so for the past several months I've been contemplating doing track not with this bike obviously but getting a uh, sport bike as a second bike when I first got into motorcycles you know it was always about sport bikes that I've always been uh, infatuated with <clears throat> over time I grew into like all 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 bikes but I still have that inner desire and inner want of, a, of having a sport bike going fast, you know, leaning, leaning those things around corners and whatnot. I can't do it right now because of money and all that. But here in the next future, hopefully this year, matter of fact, I want to get a sport bike and start tracking it, living that track life. My dilemma, I guess we could say is, should I go ahead and get a 600? Like, my number one choice for a 600 is a 636, you know, a Kawasaki uh, 6R, 636. Should I just go ahead and jump on that? Or, you know, do the logical thing and start off small, get a lightweight bike. Originally, I was thinking like a Ninja 300, but lately I've been saying, I've been thinking like, eh, you know, screw it, go ahead and get a 400, even though they are uh, brand new and it's probably better financially to get a used 300, but the 400s are so much more superior in every, every way compared to those 300s and R3s and whatnot. So yeah, that's my dilemma right now. <laughs> like, wh which one should I go for? Like, uh, straight... See, the thing is, I was told by a lot of uh, people who's experienced in the track life, 600s and leader bikes are awesome in terms of, like, their speed and stuff. I mean, especially if you want to make it big in road racing, you know, you, you want to go into those classes. But they all say how fun it is just throwing these lightweight bikes around the corners and whatnot. Damn, it's a nice house. There's a nice house here. I forgot how nice these houses here on this road I'm seriously leaning towards getting a ninja 400 and start going classes you know maybe do it like once one week in a month or something go do classes go do track days use that lightweight bike to learn my technique body positioning leaning you know uh, working on my lines around corners and whatnot and then you know a year or two down the road or whatever you know whenever I feel like it's time move up to the 600s. I mean, if any of y'all watching have track experience and whatnot, let me know, like your input or any advice or anything, because that'd be kind of cool. Okay, which... 
I, I, I don't know where I'm going now. And I want to get it as a second bike. My, like, my goal is to own multiple bikes, you know, eventually. And at the same time, I don't want to trade this, you know, Vulcan S in for a sport bike and then risk that sport bike on the track. Because if something bad happens, I know I'm, I'll be out of a bike. As, as, you know, financially better, I guess you could say it is, to just have one bike and have that one bike do it all. I want to have multiple bikes. At the same time, I want my multiple bikes to have a purpose. See, when I do get a sport bike, yeah, yeah, every now and then I'll ride it on the on the street, do motor vlogs on it, but it's gonna be mostly a track toy. Oh, I can't wait to get my exhaust. Although this isn't as big as a goal as doing road racing and all that, I do want to get like a Honda Grom or a Z125 and start doing what we call down here in Texas uh, TMGP. A TMGP is Texas Mini, uh, you know, Grand Prix. It's basically a Texas uh, racing organization strictly for mini bikes. Honda Groms, Z125, Pros, you know. Uh, all those small bikes they hold events at go-kart tracks and you basically race them you may race them down the track like just like a just like road racing part of me wants to do that now just because of how cheap you could get Honda Grands and Z125s but you know at the same time I'm like you know uh, I really want to do track though you know but at the same time it's like TMGP you know you'll still learn technique and, and whatnot and all that stuff it'll just be at, at slower at a slower pace a lot slower than you know the lightweight bikes I'll be back. One eternity later. Yeah, Hero 5 session. 75 bucks at the Sporting Goods right now at the time of this video. So, I mean, I doubt it's going to be on sale by the time y'all watch this. But I did post about it on my Instagram and stuff. So, so hopefully y'all was able to catch uh, the sale if you if you knew about it. But 75 bucks for a brand new Hero session, Hero 5 session. <laughs> Could not pass up. I'm glad I waited till now to get it to because I was willing to spend uh, I think the last sale I saw was like 150 at like Walmart or something So lucked out I was gonna go home, but would you mind? Text me asked if I was riding. I was like, yeah, yeah Him and other people are out riding right now. So I might catch up with them a little, little bit later But yeah, just to recap on what I was talking about, I do want to start track sometime, hopefully this year. And I'm gonna get a second bike, which is a sport bike at one point. Uh, I have an idea of what I want, but uh, you know, just need the money for it, obviously. Now I have contemplated about, you know, trading this one in for a sport bike, but I can't do that. It's my first bike. If I do trade this in, it'll be for something I really, really want. And that I would want to ride on the street. Top choices right now, right now, are like the Z900, or, you know, cause I, I, I've grown to like naked bikes for both their performance and street ability. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you like what you uh, saw, please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff. Oh, speaking of comment, if you uh, do have tracks experience or if you're a road racer or whatever, please, you know, comment and, you know, any uh, advice or suggestions and all that about the subject. But yeah. Until the next video, peace. Oh my God, are you serious, dude? That was a that was a that was a chick too, and like an older woman. <laughs> I got that on camera, bitch. <laughs>